mistletoe, kilt pins, and uh, yeah, that's what we're talking about today, everybody KT 253. Now, before I say another word, I'm going to say this. Wearing mistletoe while kilted can draw all manner of attention. Some good, some bad, some unwanted. So just be prepared for that. And everybody else, if you see someone wearing a kilt and mistletoe, that does not give you carte blanche to do as you please because, oh look, there's mistletoe. Anyway, okay, disclaimers aside. So there's a lot of bunch of Christmas parties, holiday parties, whatever, all kinds of shenanigans going on. And there are a significant number of people who wear kilts who are actively pursuing shenanigans. So this video is for you. So mistletoe, everybody knows the whole shenanigans with mistletoe. If you don't look it up, I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to show you how to make a kilt pin out of mistletoe. So this is mine. I just redid it this about five minutes ago. Here you go. There you go. Nice plastic mistletoe, Brotherhood of the Kilt, handmade kilt pin, and boom. This is nothing more than a safety pin that has no coil. You can get those at most craft stores and online. So how do you make a mistletoe kilt pin? Especially if you need to make it on the cheap. So first thing you need to do is you need to get at least two things. You need to get safety pin as such, safety pin. If you can get one with no coil, that would be best because that way you can actually slide the mistletoe up around this side. If you can't and all you can find is the coil ones, well then you'll just have to make do. The other thing you need is fake mistletoe. You can get real mistletoe if you can, that's awesome but real mistletoe will rot and go away. Fake mistletoe, this is probably five years old. So this is fake mistletoe. You can get them in packages at most craft stores and this is usually on a stock with three other pieces just like this. You can get them really cheap. If you get them after the holidays, I think I got all the ones I did for like three dollars and it wound up being something like a hundred of these little bad boys. So, on this, this is the, you start here, you look here, you'll see you have all the little berries and then you have this piece that sticks through. Now, this might be different than other people's uh, mistletoe, but the idea is always the same. So this is what you're starting with. You have this here and you have your safety pin. So you take your safety pin, you open it up and you actually open it wide like that, okay? I'm gonna try to keep it so that the camera doesn't lose focus. So then what you wanna do is you want to take the needle, the point right there, and actually puncture the top of the berries so that the needle comes out the hole on the bottom. Now, I learned the hard way this can get very tricky and it hurts sometimes because you miss. That being said, if you're careful with the proper amount of force, booyah, there you go. So, step one, needle, get you in focus, needle, is in the mistletoe. So there you go. See, there's that. Now, all you do is you slide this up around, and the reason I have you open this up this far is so that you can do this. Just like that. You go around the horn very easily. Now you have your mistletoe piece up near the top of the safety pin, and just close them back up. You want to bend this back to normal so that the loop is good right here right there yep and then close it up boom there you go mistletoe kilt pin very simple you can probably do this for a buck or two I used to think about making these and selling these but it cost it, the, the trying to make this actually money off this was stupid because you can make this for about 20 or 30 cents and selling it for a buck and a half mailing it I wound up with like 10 cents a piece and that just wasn't going to cut it so it's all you need mistletoe kilt pin if you want to try you can take the old school milk the old uh, the regular kind of kilt pins with this on the back this kind of pin on the back, I don't suggest it though. I tried, and as you can see, 
See the pin here? Oop, let me put all this crap down. The pin there, it's all bent and out of, wall, out of shape right here. That's, uh, that's because I tried to put it through the mistletoe. So I do not suggest using the pin on the back. Now, if you can affix the mistletoe somewhere else on here, fine. That's up to you. Uh, the other reason why you want to get one of these without a loop is because then you can take your further head of the kilt, kilt fall, uh, key fob and watch this. Check this action out. Boom. Instant awesome kilt pin. And you can even take the D ring out as you see fit. So, that is how you make a mistletoe kilt pin. Uh, like I said, go to the fabric stores, ho the, the hobby shops, the holiday gift shops, places that sell flowers and stuff, they've got loads of mistletoe, the fake stuff. And then you just want to get the, the safety pin with no loop on the end, just just no, uh, no circle here, it's just a loop, just like that, all right? So with that, I'm going to grab a Kiltology, and it's going to be the old stuff. Because it's Friday, and you guys should be shenaniganizing. So here we go. We're talking about kilt pins. We're talking about mistletoe kilt pins, and this is it. Uh, it's in Kiltology, Volume 1. It's on Amazon. Go get a copy. Kiltology number 131. In its simplicity and functionality, the kilt is nearly the perfect garment. It is not only extremely usable and durable, it is in many ways art, artful and creative. That being said, it is common for people to affix just about anything to a kilt just because they can. So I'm not sure if you've ever seen this. I have seen a good many people with one, two, three, four, five kilt pins on one kilt. So do not be stuck with, oh, I have all these awesome kill pins, but I can only put one on. No. You want to put on two? Do it. Three? Fine. It's your kill. Wear it the way you want. So, there you go. Instructions on how to make a mistletoe kill pin for dirt cheap and perfect timing for shenanigans because it's Friday night. Hell, you, most of the most places still have time to hit the craft store, go out and grab one, and go see what kind of shenanigans you can come up with. And again, if you don't remember, go back, rewind the video, watch the first couple of seconds. Massive disclaimer. And with that, I will see everyone tomorrow. It is only a couple days before Christmas. So you guys have a great time. Hope you find some fun tonight. It is Friday. Tomorrow, if you got shopping to do, get it in early because tomorrow night should be interesting. Saturday night, right before Christmas, should be a good time. So you guys have fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Be strong. Good kill time.